The Prince and the Seven Moons Once in a land somewhere beneath the moon, there lived a prince who was an astronomer. Each night he would sit in his tower and look at the moon, and each day he would sleep. Many years passed until one day the prince realized that he knew no more about the moon than when he had started, so he decided to stay up for a day and see what he could learn. The first person to pass his tower was a merchant going to market. What do you know about the moon? The prince shouted down. The moon is a golden dollar, said the merchant, and he hurried off to the market. Then along came a general riding off to war. What do you know about the moon? asked the prince. The moon is a shining metal, said the general, puffing out his chest and trotting away down the road. Soon a tiger passed beneath the prince's window. What do you know about the moon? asked the prince. The moon is my eye, said the tiger, sharpening his claws on the side of the tower. Would you like to see it closer? Oh, that would be nice, said the prince, taking out his telescope. But the tiger thought it was a gun and ran off down the road. Did you drop something, mister? asked the little boy who stopped beneath the window. No, said the prince. But do you know anything about the moon? I know lots about the moon, said the little boy. The moon is a balloon on a long string and sometimes cows jump over it. And sometimes it's made of green cheese. Didn't your mother ever tell you? Green cheese indeed. The moon's a lemon meringue pie, as anyone knows, said the baker. It's a melon, said the farmer who, who had come down the road. It's an egg, said the chicken. And the three went down the road arguing. The prince had almost decided to go back to sleep when he heard a knock upon his door. He looked down from his tower window and saw a beautiful princess. Would you like to go on a picnic, she asked. But it's dark outside, said the prince. You don't know about the moon, asked the princess. The prince looked at the trees and the princess and the moon. And at last, he did.